Hey everyone, PB Doughboy here. Today we're going to be fixing drift in Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. Uh, it should only run you about 5 to 10 bucks for the parts that you need. Uh, everything that we need is right in front of you here. Uh, so the only thing you need to buy is this can of contact cleaner. Uh, you can get whatever kind you want. Uh, I've been getting this, the, uh, the CRC QD contact cleaner. Uh, this is the quick drying version. Uh, so it's that works pretty good. Uh, I bought that about six or seven years ago, and it's lasts forever. I mean, there's still a ton of spray in here. So once you buy that, that's the only thing you'll need to fix the Joy Cons anytime they start to drift. Uh, usually they'll stay working pretty well for a while once you've cleaned them as well. Uh, so you just need that. Uh, we do need something rigid for the uh, the Joy Cons themselves. So I have this little. Uh, screwdriver here that's got these uh these bits for interchangeable so i'll just be using this to uh to hold up the interior of the controller or the base of the controller uh, on the joy cons themselves uh the spot that we need to go into is there's this little rubber area at the bottom uh, if you lift that up you can see the inner workings of the control uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the can of spray and with the straw at the end, we're going to point that toward uh, one of the little white plastic areas that are in there. And we're just going to do a quick spritz of the spray. Uh, so the hardest part is when you're doing this by yourself is getting this to stay up while you're putting the straw in there. You have to do kind of a claw grip on the, uh, the thing to get that to go. Uh, it's not too difficult. So... And the only other thing we have is a set of eye protection for when the spray reflects directly into your eyeballs, which it will. So let me get this going here and get my jank recording set up. Okay, so let's see if I can get this on camera here. I'll lift that up. And I already messed it up. Now you're not supposed to have this on while you're doing it, so you want to make sure that you don't do that just now like I just did. Uh, so I'll try to have that off. Okay, so this is in the camera here. We're just doing a quick spritz. Try to get it in there. Okay, and I'll just wipe it down with the paper towel. Get everything off of there. Oh, I got more of it there. Okay, so then you just circle it around one direction for, you know, 10 or 20 seconds. You, and then circle the other direction. You just kind of alternate directions. Uh, you want to do this for about you know, 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, the idea is that the reason it's drifting is that some dirt or dust has gotten into the interior of the controller and that's causing it to freak out and it's not getting the contact that it needs so the spray is supposed to help us work that out of there so we're, right now if there's any kind of dirt in there the hope is that by just spraying that little bit in there and then spinning it around it's going to work out the dirt from inside and then it'll start getting good contact again so you just do that for a little while, and then, uh, you know, after you've done it for a bit, you just want to set it down and let it dry for about 20 minutes or so. And because uh, you're supposed to let it dry completely before you start using it again. Uh, if you do hit the button while you've got the spray in there, uh, that shouldn't be a big deal because this is supposed to be non-conductive. So it shouldn't cause any problems. I've, you know, as you can see, I've, I've, accidentally turned it on before while I've been doing that and it hasn't caused any problems so far but uh, yeah you just let it dry out for about 20 minutes and then you should be good to go if you still have problems usually what I'll do is I'll you know I went in from this side this time uh, I'll just go in from the opposite side and do the same process again I've never had to do it more than twice in a row to get it to stop drifting uh, if you have to do it more than three or four times there's probably something actually physically wrong with the controller uh, but usually this will get it working. I um, mean, I've been, I've had these, this is my original set of Joy-Cons. I've been able to fix them every time they've drifted by just doing that. And uh, yeah, it's uh, saved me a lot of money having, instead of having to buy a new set of Joy-Cons every time they mess up. So 
Hopefully somebody found that helpful. Uh, if you did, leave a comment and uh, everyone have a good day.